hair. Everyone has it. To many people, it is a statement and it is something people notice. Have you ever thought about how it influences you and the people around you? It started long ago, one of the first examples being the Egyptians. In Egypt, back in 3000 BC, men and women often had the same, the same hairstyles. They used hair to tell age and something they based beauty on. Young adults shaved their head except for one curl. The older people would wear wigs because they were going gray, and gray was not beautiful. Women often decorated their hair with flowers, pins, and extensions to make themselves look better. These are all things we still do today. Jumping ahead to the Elizabethan era, 1558 to 1603, all women wanted to be like Queen Elizabeth. She was a trendsetter with red hair and pale skin. Many women wore red-haired wigs to be beautiful like their queen. Moving to more recent times, 20s. Roaring 20s. When women first started wearing their hair short, the style was a bob or a short haircut, usually wavy with a thin headband. 50s. Women moved back into the homes to work, all while keeping a perfect house and hairdo. Women was te hair was teased into a helmet of perfect curls, all stuck together with a lot of hairspray. 60s. This decade, hair varied from a beehive to long, slightly curly, to short and sharp. 80s. Also known as the age of excess. Bigger the better. Very curly, lots of volume, and high ponytails. Nowadays, there are many different hairstyles, from a short pixie cut to long beach waves. With all these different hairstyles, over time they have accumulated some basic stereotypes. <laughs> Hair stereotypes. Lengths. What do you think of when you see a lady with short hair? The most common assumption is she's lesbian. If it's not, she's a lesbian. It's she's having a hard time or going through a crisis, when in reality, it could be none of those things. In fact, many girls are told they look older and more confident when they cut their hair short. Long hair stereotypes. Many people assume girls with long hair are young and unprofessional. It is also believed that longer hair is sexier. To some people, it may actually be sexier, but not to all. And there are also plenty of professional women with long hair if you just look around. Hair color stereotypes. Blonde is the most common stereotype. It is believed blonde girls are more into partying. They have more fun when they are partying. They are dumb and vain. There are a lot of dumb blonde jokes out there that are offensive. There are less stereotypes for brunettes, but they are still stereotyped in many movies and shows. It is assumed brunettes are intelligent, clever, mature, but they are also boring. Ladies with black hair are perceived to be mysterious and shadowy, sometimes untrustworthy or cold. People with gray hair are usually older, so the main stereotype for gray hair is old and stable. It is also thought they are wise, skillful, and dignified. Red hair has been very controversial throughout history, but nowadays people think redheads are fiery, alluring, loving, but also very sensitive. Hair and race. Black people have many stereotypes that go with their hair especially if it is natural. If hair is natural, people think it's bad hair. It's dirty, the person is a hippie who likes reggae, and they are corrupt. It is also assumed that they are the only people that wear weaves if they don't like their natural hair. Another race is Asian. Asian stereotypes tend to be more about how smart they are, not their hair. But since most Asians tend to have darker hair, they can fit under black hair stereotypes. Hispanic hair. When you think of Hispanic woman, the most stereotypical thing you think of is thick, black, shiny, and voluminous hair. In reality, it can have many just different textures, from wiry to flat and to curly even. Hair textures. Curly hair.
People with curly hair are thought to be of more earthy and messy and are often frazzled. Many people think people with curly hair don't like it, which is very wrong. There are less stereotypes that go along with straight hair, but after asking some people, they all had about the same idea. Straight hair people are professional, they got it together, and they know what they're doing, which are all kind of the same thing. My connection. I have red, thick, curly hair, and I've always gotten compliments on it. People tell me, never dye it. I wish I had your color, but most recently, it's been jokes about me not having a soul. I've always loved the color of my hair and never ran into problems with it or been offended by the jokes. Because of my hair color, I've always been interested in hair. That is how I decided to do this project, because many people are oblivious to how much hair affects other people. One of my favorite quotes that has a stereotype in it is, Blondes may have more fun, but redheads have more sex. I asked several other people how hair has affected them. I started with Ashlyn. Ashlyn has short brown hair with blonde highlights. She proves the short hair stereotypes wrong. Ashlyn cut her hair short when she saw a picture in a magazine. She said, I want to cut my hair like that, but the hairdresser screwed it up. But she was happy with it because people told her she looked older and more sophisticated. She also said she straightens her hair every day because everyone else straightens it and it's easier to deal with. Josie. She has super long, curly, blonde hair. Josie loves her hair. She says many people assume she doesn't like her hair. As a swimmer, it was hard for her to deal with. She once had to buy an extra large swim cap that she thought was very ugly and didn't like. Josie is one of the many people that proves you can love your natural hair. Susan, aka my mom. She has red, medium length hair. She was given many nicknames like Big Red and Carrot Top as a kid. In school, she was teased a lot, which made her the stereotypical sensitive redhead. She didn't like her hair until late high school, beginning college, but now she loves it. Grandma Joanne. She has short, blondish gray hair, and she's colored it for the past 10 years. She's always had short hair, but always wanted long hair. She could never handle it, though, so she just admired those with long hair. Joanne didn't like her hair until she was 40. Before then, she tried coloring it and getting perms till she found it just the way she wanted it. As a kid, she could never remember people being teased about their hair, making me think it wasn't a big deal as much it is as it is now. Lastly, I interviewed Jamie. Jamie is Hispanic with very curly black hair. She says it's a pain in the ass and it takes a long time to make it look professional. It's always knotted, she gets brushes stuck in it, and no amount of gel can make it look or stay the way she wants it. Of all the people I interviewed, some hate their hair, some love their hair, and some learn to love it. Assuming things about others' hair doesn't help them to embrace your hair, so next time you're judging someone's hair, think again. Let them express themselves the way they want to without you putting them in boxes.